to my channel. My name is Chiwen Mwoke and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in United Kingdom. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, you're welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for your support. So on today's menu, we'll be preparing a nice mouth-watering delicacy called shawarma. So come along with me as we prepare this mouth watering delicacy. Thank you. So for today's recipe, which is the shawarma, we've got all our ingredients nicely prepared here. So for today's shawarma, I'll be using some onion. I've got some cucumber here, which gives the shawarma a very nice taste. I've got my grated carrots and my grated cabbage and also I've chopped some lettuce as well. I've got some sausages which I'll be using for today's shawarma. I've also got some chicken breast strips. This is what it looks like in the pack and that's what I'll be using for today's shawarma. I've got my shawarma spice I've got my suya spice, which I'll be putting in. I've got my no cubes, which I've crushed into powder. I've also got my curry. I've got my onga, and this is really uh, very optional. However, I love using onga because I like the flavor and the taste it gives to the shawarma. I've got here with me virgin olive oil which I'll be spraying on the pot before I saute the chicken. I've got my salt to taste. I've also got my white pepper. I've got my paprika powder and I have my ketchup here as well as my mayonnaise. So the ketchup and the mayonnaise would be used as a spread to keep and bind everything together so that it doesn't fall apart in the tortilla wrap. I've also got lastly my tortilla wrap here which is what I use for my shawarma. So keep watching as I begin to prepare the chicken stir fry for my shawarma. So I'll be using my light cook spray to spray the pan before adding in my chicken. And then I'll add in my chicken for it to saute. That's me adding in my chicken. Also be putting adding in some onion into that and I'll be sauteing on low heat so that it doesn't get burnt easily or so quickly. Next, I'll be adding in my spices. So I'm going to use this small spoon to add in my spices. So I'll be putting in my spices bit by bit to taste. Shouldn't be too much. Putting in my spices. That's my curry. And 
I'll be stirring it just for the spice to get integrated. So after sauteing my chicken, which is which I've kept by the side, I'll just quickly saute my sausages as well because I like them a little bit fried. So guys, I've got all my chicken breast well seasoned and sautéed in a pan and I've also got my sausages well seasoned and sautéed as well. So the next thing we will do is to prepare our paste for spreading on the shawarma bread as you can see. So to do this we will be using just two ingredients which is our mayonnaise and our ketchup as well so you add more of the mayonnaise in your bowl and just little drops of your ketchup and then it gives you this nice looking color and also a nice taste it's got And after doing that, we're ready to get our shawarma ready. But before I start preparing the shawarma, I'll show you the skillet which I'll be using to finish up the sealing of the shawarma. So I'll just turn on the skillet before I come back to prepare my shawarma. So that's the skillet. I'll be turning on the socket for it to heat up a little bit while I'm mixing up the shawarma. I'm going to take a little bit of the spread and from the middle, I'll spread it round like that, round in a circular motion just to cover most part of the shawarma. So just take it round. I really don't need to put so much on this side because this is where the shawarma um, ingredients would be, would be more. So however, it doesn't matter, you could just spread it all over it really doesn't matter but it's not compulsory to do i'll then be adding some of my chicken breast on the side that way Bring it to the edge as much as you can so that folding would be easy. And then I'll be adding in some cabbage. I'll add in 
some cucumber as well. Then I'll add in some carrots that way. And a little bit of lettuce on top. And to finish it up, I'll be putting just a little bit of onion on top of it. And usually what I do is to take a little bit of the paste and drop on, on it like that. Before adding one sausage on top. That way and then you fold gently you press everything in as much as you can fold once and then keep rolling until you get to the end of it so usually I like to tuck this in so I just tuck it in nicely then I tuck it in nicely here as well and then I, this is what it looks like and I lay it on my skillet that way I lay it on my skillet and allow it to press on a bit and then it seals the bread up and then your shawarma is ready so guys this is my shawarma skillet and this is what i'll be using for the last stage of the shawarma so after after wrapping your shawarma i've preheated the skillet all i'll be doing is to lay my shawarma here and i put in two shawarmas at a time i lay the shawarma on the skillet this way and I press it and leave it this way for five minutes. And after five minutes, it has been nicely sealed. And then I take it off and my shawarma is ready. So it's about five minutes now. And as you can see, the shawarma is already brown. So once you get this, it seals up the shawarma and that's the use of the skillet. And it gets you a very nicely sealed shawarma. So this is what our shawarma looks like. Looks so yummy and I'm sure it will taste really yummy as well. So guys, we've come to the end of today's recipe. And I hope you enjoyed making today's shawarma. If you enjoyed making today's shawarma with me, kindly give me a thumbs up and click on the red subscribe button and on top the red subscribe button you will see a bell kindly click on the bell so that as soon as i drop more videos you'll be one of the first people to be notified about it and my motto remains be kind to yourselves and be kind to others and let love lead i love you guys and until next time bye for now